हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो वेलकम अगेन हेयर आई एम विद अनदर प्रॉब्लम ऑन इंजीनियरिंग ग्राफिक्स दिस टाइम द प्रॉब्लम विल बी ऑन प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ स्ट्रेट लाइन इंक्लाइन टू बोथ द प्लेन अर्लियर आल्सो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द स्ट्रेट लाइन इंक्लाइन टू बोथ द प्लेन टूडे आई एम टेकिंग वन प्रॉब्लम वन सिंपल प्रॉब्लम द प्रॉब्लम विल बी लाइक दिस वी वॉन्ट टू ड्रॉ प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ ए लाइन सी डी ए टी एम एम लॉन्ग द its end c will be given to me the end c will be 80 uh, c will be in the hp and 40 mm in front of the vp and the line will be inclined 45 degree to hp and inclined 30 degree to the vp so this will be a very basic problem in which the end a first end will be given to me and both the inclinations will be given to me as earlier we discussed we will solve this type of problem in multiple steps so in the initial step what i am going to suppose i am going to suppose my line parallel to both the plane earlier i have discussed this method with you that we will solve these type of problems in number of steps so initially the first step will be suppose line is parallel to both so i am going to draw the first point that will be the point c and its front view as the point will be initially we will draw the reference line that is xy as the first point c will be on the hp so c dash will be on the xy line and c will be a small c will be 40 mm below the reference line so i have taken this 40 mm so this is the point is small c now as we have suppose that our line is parallel to both but in this case as the first point will be on the hp so what i will suppose that the line will be on the hp and parallel to vp so what i will do i will draw its front view that will be on the reference line so that is atmm so i have will draw atmm line and in the same reference i will draw its top view that is also atmm so in both the projections i will draw atmm line and this is my line initially i will name it d1 dash and d1 so c d1 will be my first line that is parallel to both and this length will be atm as you know that when a line will be parallel to both both the projections will show the true length so in the first step i have suppose my line will be parallel to both or in this case it will be on the hp and parallel to vp now in the second step i am going to make this line inclined 45 degree to hp keeping it parallel to vp as you know that if we want to make it inclined to hp by some angle then the front view is going to inclined and by 45 degree and that will be seen in the that will be also seen in the front view so i will draw a line at 45 degree inclined to the reference line as you know that when the line will be inclined to hp and is still parallel to vp the length of its front view is not going to change so i will rotate this length that is 80 mm from this position to this next position and this is my line that is d2 dash now look at this line this line will be 45 degree inclined to the hp is still parallel to vp so it's still parallel to vp so if we want to draw its top view then we will draw a perpendicular from d2 dash on the line cd1 as the line is still parallel to vp so from this point i will draw a perpendicular like this where it is going to cut the top view that is the point d2 so this is point d2 and we will get the top view as as you know that this top view will be the final top view if the same line will be also inclined to vp also same way what another thing we will get 
if I draw a parallel line from this D2 dash, then this will be the locus of our final point that is D dash. So this line will be locus of D dash. So the half problem will be solved. In the next step, what I am going to do, I am going to make this line inclined to VP, but keeping it parallel to HP. So keeping it parallel to HP, now this time I am going to incline the top view by some angle 30 degree. So in the top view, we will draw a line at 30 degree to this point, at the point C. As you know that if the line will be inclined to VP by some angle, keeping it parallel to HP, the length of the top view is not going to change. So with C as center and C D1 radius. Use the compass, use the pencil 2 edge and shift this like this. And this angle will be, third. I have taken this angle 30 degree. Now this suppose the name of this point will be D3. Now this AC D3 will be inclined to VP by some angle 30 degree. It is still parallel to HP or you can say on the HP. So the D3 front view of D3 will be on the xy line so from this point again i will draw a perpendicular upside where it is going to cut this point that is point d3 dash so this point will be d3 dash now darken this line This is D3 dash and this will be the front view. And as you know that if the same line will be inclined to VP also, the length of the front view is not going to change again. So this is our final front view. Another dimension we got here, this if I will draw a parallel line from this D3, then this will be the locus of point small d. This is D dash. Now almost the problem will be solved. We got the front view, we got the top view, shift that front view to the front view and top view to the top view. Just rotate with the help of compass. So again, I, will, I am going, going to use this compass and C dash as center and land this front view. I am going to shift this front view from this point to upside. So this will be the final front view that will be D dash. Same way. Rotate this top view that is CD from this position to downside where it cuts this line that will be the point small D. Join this C dash with D dash and C with D. You can easily get the final projections. This is the final projection front view. This is final top view. If we want to check that we have drawn correctly from this D draw a line perpendicular to XY this is going to meet with D. If that is so we have drawn it correctly. So this is the line which is inclined to both the plane. Now look at the final projection. In the final projection both the lengths are shorter than true and the angles these angles are greater than the true inclination. This alpha and beta are the apparent angles of line. You can say alpha and beta are the apparent angles of a straight line with HP and VP. Uh, actually, th those are actually the inclination of the final front view with the XY and final top view with the XY. I hope you understand the concept. This is the basic concept for solving a problem inclined to both the plane. Thank you. Thank you very much.